What's going on guys, Steve Blake here, and today I want to do a quick video talking about the kind of uh, finale, and it's a little bit anticlimactic, uh, about the Nike employee that was involved uh, in a sneaker theft ring. You can read the caption here on Soul Collector. Uh, but basically what was happening on Nike campus was there was a Nike employee uh, who was in charge of basically sampling out sneakers. His name is Kyle, you can see him here. I actually think those sunglasses were part of a finish line promotion. I'm not sure if he actually made those sunglasses or not, but that's besides the point. It's neither here nor there. He was in charge of sampling sneakers, so when a friends and family promo was made or something like that, he might had had a couple extras made up, and then he was taking them, selling them to someone down in Florida who was then redistributing them. You guys know that Nike samples are extremely rare and valuable especially the Nike basketball ones, which tend to leak through. However, he has no jail time. And the reason why he had no jail time uh, was because he basically wore a wire um, to rat out his other friend, Jason Keaton, who was the guy that was selling uh, sample sneakers down in Florida. Now, when I visited Nike campus, I was actually wearing a pair of Soulfly sample Spizikes. I remember them being a little bit suspicious because I had purchased them from someone in Miami. Um, but of course, that's where the boutique is, so it wasn't quite uh, what they're looking for. Now, a lot of people are concerned because they're worried about purchasing samples because they are fearing that it's in a gray area. Now, Nike's tried to reclaim and track a lot of them, but basically, if you have any pairs that are stamped property of Nike, not for resale, those are going to be the ones you want to avoid. Other samples that are look-see samples that typically will have uh, UPC code 9999, it'll list the season when it's coming out. Um, those are kind of gray area. Again, you know, Nike repossessing your sneakers uh, isn't that big of a, a risk if you uh, are, as long as you don't have those ones that say property. This is the original um, report talking about um, selling goods. This guy, I think, sold over $800,000 uh, worth of product. And you can imagine some of the samples on uh, the prices that they went for. This article says 679000 I believe by the final time, uh, they got it up around eight hundred thousand, uh, and Nike spent almost four hundred thousand dollars themselves uh, leading this investigation, which required a lot of U.S. marshals and uh, United States government employees. So, been kind of a crazy sting. Again, I kind of can't believe this guy is getting no jail time, um, but I definitely want to do a video to talk about it because I saw a lot of people tweeting about it uh, today, um, and rather than answering everything individually uh, or giving it a opinion in 140 characters I'd rather do a quick video uh, let me know what you guys think let me know if you came across any odd or suspicious Nike samples as well um, or if you're a PE collector and how this kind of uh, might make you feel especially if you've worked hard for a legitimate collection uh, and kind of had to deal with this I mean it really is bullshit um, there's no better word uh, that related to people stealing from their employer um, which I think we can all agree is is pretty deplorable so Quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys with more content in a week. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. T Blake signing out. Peace, guys.